folks. Um, in response to uh, some feedback on an earlier uh, tutorial I did on Flight of the Bumblebee, uh, suggesting I take it a little bit slower and take you guys through it. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm armed with my trusty metronome. Um, it's probably about a third, a third of the speed that a professional player would do it, but um, the added advantage is you can see my fingers and I can show you fin different fingerings that work. Alright, so, lovely top E. Um, in the first bar, be very careful when you're playing that C sharp that you keep your finger off the, red, the um, E flat key. Way, way sharp. So I'll pop the metronome back on. take this bit out on its own because you've got all of this nasty sort of left hand stuff and that's exactly what I would do. I know my fingers are a little bit straight, it's not that's not ideal, but I'm too old to um, fix it. So just take those two bars out on their own. See how um, by playing it slowly, so that the first eight bars, six bars. Introduction taken care of. Now let's go from one to two. And it's really weird practicing it at this speed, isn't it? slightly from the um, pure chromatic nature so you're coming from so be sure to note that uh, when you're playing so that when you're getting it faster it's um it comes through a lot better. Now, the next bit, I have a couple of ideas. You can just finger it normally. <coughs> Making sure that you use that um, trill key F sharp fingering. Or what I like to do is mix it up a little bit and play the B flat um, on the second trill key. Um, either way, probably the first one's better. So that eventually and make sure that there's no sort of um, residual thumb on the uh, <coughs> thumb key because um, it uh, it will. Uh, not make it sound very nice. So, and then we go on. So 
again you can go so you have a couple of choices there whether you use the side B flat or just and note there you can use the regular F sharp and then <coughs> we get a brief respite now after two I've got an osseo so that you can either start playing the semi quavers again so, so I'm just playing that double time so you can either have That's tough. Uh, a D to C sharp. And then. So you can either play the bottom part of the osseo or else. left hand E flat so that you can get to the D easier so now we're at the next bit we're now sort of up in the uh, shallow moke over the break interesting little passage to play because you're filling around over the break. Okay, now we're back down um, in the Shalomo again. So we've not done um, this particular riff or motif from the um, piece. I would uh, recommend using the left hand E flat D sharp. the octave and again you're sort of um, fiddling around with the pinky keys um, uh, sort of in the lowest of the clarion register
before five, you break away from the chromatics. And now we're up in the top of the instrument. Again, make sure that you keep the finger off the E flat key, otherwise the C sharp will be way too sharp. time bar um, but the second time bar note that we depart from the uh, chromatic there I will be doing the osseo and then we'll gradually start um, moving up the tempo little bit by little bit and this is how you would practice it.
60, I think that's a very reasonable tempo to start out at. Um, I'm now going to pop it up to 80. And you'll see the virtues of slow practice come to fruition already. <coughs> Me. from five to six you really need a really good support of your um, altissimo otherwise you will squeak like I did there. Trill from F to G is just the uh, G sharp key. Alright now uh, I'm going to move it up to a hundred. And it's getting, it's starting to, it's starting to be recognizable.
I'll whack it up to 120. I could probably get it up to about 140 just with this little amount of practice, but yeah, we'll see how we go. a bit of a dare. Let's see what it's like at 140. As I said, not, it's not bad for this practice session to get up that much from 60 to 140. Okay, now that was fine. <laughs> Let's see what 160 sounds like. <laughs> nah, I don't have the concentration for it. But you see um, the, the value of slow practice um, on a piece like this. So I hope that's um, helped you all. Um, and uh, please peruse my other Flight of the Bumblebee practice videos where um, I only increase the speed by a very small increment of about four, um, four beats. So, thanks for listening and bye for now.